Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I came home. I was out. I was like, where am I going? It's been a while since I've been to the store. But where I am, I don't drive and I don't have a way to carry groceries. So when I get off the subway, sometimes I'll just carry a bag and put a few items in it. But I don't want to carry a bunch of things and just be weighted down. I already, I think, hurt my shoulder with books when I was studying. So I'm like, okay, what do I have in the house? This is the thing with plant-based. You look in your fridge, you look in the pantry, and then you look and you say, what do I have? What can I come up with? So today, I'm gonna to make a tofu scramble, okay? So that I have tofu and I have a bunch of uh, veggies, so let's do it. Okay, so I diced some peppers and onions. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil. I think I went a little heavy this time, maybe one tablespoon. And I am going to crush some garlic. I have some capers and olives. We're gonna pop those in there. I have some tomatoes. I usually don't uh, push for tomatoes because there is an ingredient in there that kind of tends to exacerbate arthritis. I don't really say I have arthritis, but like earlier this week, I had like a little discomfort in one joint. So I don't know if that's called arthritis. So, all right, let's put that in here. Let it cook down. And I never like my peppers to be overly cooked. You know, I like them to have a crunch. But when you're doing a scramble, you do want that color. So last night I could not sleep very well. I bought this, I think this is like a 16 ounce cup. I went a little crazy and filled it to the brim and had coffee in the middle of the day. Like I don't know any better. It's like I got rubbed. I know, I know better, but I don't always do what I'm supposed to. So I couldn't sleep. So last night it was one, two o'clock in the morning. I'm still feeling like I could clean the house. <laughs> so I was like, what's happening? And then I realized it's because I had had that coffee late in the day. I should sit to like an eight ounce and have it early in the day. Maggie, you are no spring chicken. You need to quit acting like you're going. So we're going to do the papers. We're going to season. And then we're going to add the tofu. The tofu is just, it's very fragile again, kind of like the archi that I cooked the other day. And then I still have a couple of um, Pockets, Peter pockets. So I'm going to fill, okay, the garlic goes in. Now I have some olives here. This are, uh, these are Spanish olives. You know, when you make arroz on pollo, you put those olives in there. Mmm, yum. I like black olives too, so. But I can't have too many of them because they tend to be high in salt. And I am super, super sensitive to salt. And my blood pressure can go up, not crazy. I do have medication, I don't have to take it all the time. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing plant-based, a lot of water, and not a lot, just enough water to be hydrated and not um, I can't have soy sauce, just only a little bit. The last time I did Uber Eats and I ordered some, uh, I like their, um, uh, what do we call that? 
I like their fried rice, right? So I had some. The next day, you know, my rings couldn't come off my finger. That's usually a sign, and my cheeks would get, you know, a little puffy. And my eyes and the under eye bags get worse. <laughs> oh my God. Don't get old, okay? Do not get old. Because everything starts to go south. All right. So, I have some fresh thyme. I'm so excited. Tomillo, that's what they call it in Spanish. And I think, uh, what was it again they call? Basil. Albahaca. Albahaca. Who would come up with a name like that? So we're gonna put some, see, we're gonna get the spine. Oh, thyme, I am in love with thyme, just like I'm in love with garlic. You know, when you are building flavor, and thyme is one of those that you could overpower the dish with one spice, and you have to be careful that you don't do that. Okay? Now, I don't have any lemons, so I'm going to put a touch of um, vinegar, because I need just a little bit of acidity in here. Alright, so let's see. I have hot sauce, so I'm using hot sauce and not cayenne. Just a little bit. Now I like a little heat. If you don't like any heat, don't put it in, okay? It's not a must. Keep in mind what your tastes are. I mean what you know what your lights are. All right, fresh ground pepper, oregano. Yep, Italian. When I was at home, I had a French mix. Uh, what did they call it again? Um, I forgot. But it's a French. Uh, in here, I don't like soy, but I'm gonna put a teeny bit of soy sauce because I'm doing the tofu, and I'm also adding a little bit of oyster sauce. Just because I have it, I'm using it. I think it's gonna help the tofu, just to season the tofu a little bit. So maybe, not even a teaspoon. All right. Paprika, you know me and cooked paprika, regular paprika, so make sure you have those spices in your uh, cupboard, a little bit of adobo, not a lot, and slap your mama would be the last one, okay, when I do that, I know that my food's going to taste good. I don't even have to think about it, okay? And then I'm having a little salt, okay? Because remember, you need a little bit of salt to make sure your blood cells can work properly. Don't just go and say you don't want, you don't, can't have any, any salt, you can't have any, any fat. You know, that's why sometimes vegan people get into trouble. They just go too far to the left, too far to the right. Oh, that looks good. Okay. I also have some tomatoes that are sitting here, and I don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to cut one up and throw it in there right before I put the tofu in there, okay? So, all in all, this is gonna be dinner you guys again trying to keep everything about the same size all right I feel like I should put a little bit more acid now 
Now I put the, the tomatoes last because the tomatoes, they cook a lot faster than the, than the veggies. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm gonna pick it off the heat just for a tad while I get the tofu. Now you saw that I put my capers and the olives, right? Okay. Capers and olives just also add to your flavor profile. So you don't want to put too much and using that is not going to hurt your dish. All right, tofu, here we come. Now I had the tofu for the aki. Let's see, let's do this. Now tofu, this one is gonna be crumbled. So it's not like I'm worried about its shape. Here we go. So I'm going to just crumble it on the side to let it dry up a little bit. Okay. And then mix it all in. So I think that's good. When it's all mixed in, I'm just gonna add some turmeric. Still working through getting um, taking care of my credit cards from being robbed last week. I don't know if you guys saw. Okay, turmeric is going in. Ooh. Ooh, I think I went a little bit heavy here. So you don't want the tofu to disappear in the dish. That's why you see me moving it around a little bit more carefully. You're done here. Huh? How about that? All right, so if you had some herbs, you could probably just put some um, parsley, chopped parsley. I don't know, I think I had some. we have a little bit of wilted uh, cilantro <laughs> you know the stuff here goes bad so fast and again that kind of tells you that our our food in the state is full of preservatives because things just don't last a long time here and that means they are fresh from the earth and uh, all right, so I think I have a little bit, not a lot. Yeah, this is not the time you want to use uh, dry spices, okay? So I'm gonna have a little bit. Yep, that would do it. All right, I'm gonna turn the oven off in the stove and we're done we are done with our tofu scramble so can you see yourself making this for breakfast or lunch so again this you can have with grains I am going to fill um, a couple of patties with it so let's go ahead and this beauty
beautiful. Wow. So whatever you have in your pantry, come up with that. This week I was gonna show you guys how to make cabbage. Even though if you're Jamaican, you might read about fried cabbage, but it's not really fried. Um, I used to make cabbage. I could put it in the oven, but I have an oven issue right now. I'm not comfortable using it, so I'm not using it. So here we go. All right, I'll take a couple of pictures and then we will fill one of the pockets with our creation. All right, this is Maggie from Plant Based Creation. Okay, so you have the pita. If you wanted to, you could make pita, pita chips. Let's see how we want to do this. You can do pita chips. You can put you can put that on a pan. Sprinkle it with a little bit of uh, olive oil and put it in the air fryer so it will um, tighten up a little bit and then you, you make a pocket with um, the other you know you could do two pockets with a pita but to show you I'm just using one okay I call them uh, boats. <laughs> Here we go. So we can put that on the side like a boat. And we can put the pita wedges on the side. Okay. And you could do another um, if you wanted to, to decorate some more, Put a couple of slices of tomatoes. There we go. Again, use your imagination, okay? The sky is the limit of what you can do. Don't limit yourself. Okay, so that is a lot. So most people would probably just get another um, half of the pita and then you're still going to have leftovers. Okay, enjoy. I hope you enjoy this. Try it. Give it a try. Okay, it's dinner time. It only took me about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, I made the tofu scramble with peppers, onions, and then I have um, wedges and I made a pita boat. Let's dig in. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I knew it'd be difficult to do the pockets because the tofu is too soft, too wet. So, mm. so we just. If you make the bowl, make sure you eat it right away. Ooh. It's so good. And it's all good for me. It's just a good feeling when you're eating and you don't have to feel guilty. Huh? That's the thing about being plant-based. Huh? But just remember to take your supplements. I'll talk about supplements in another video. Mm. 
If it doesn't taste good, Maggie's not gonna eat it. And if Maggie cooks it, it's gonna taste good. And you saw my favorite profile. Fresh garlic, salt and pepper, onion. You always start with salt, uh, garlic and onions, okay, as your base. And then you put all these peppers, all those flavors are just poppy. And then, to season, make sure you have acid. There's a balance, you have a little bit of, I didn't have lemon juice, so I put a little bit of vinegar, what vinegar? Or you could do red wine vinegar if you have it, but not apple cider vinegar, okay? And then I put, mm, I added cumin, not cumin, uh, turmeric at the end just to pop the color. And then I had oregano, a mix of Italian spices, herbs. I had adobo, slap your mama, and paprika and smoked paprika. A little bit of salt. That's it. You can't lose when you season your food. It looks appealing. It's going to taste amazing. Then you're more likely to stick to your plan. But like I said, I've seen some posts. So I'm like, oh, I couldn't eat that. It's dry. And... But a lot of people are posting some really good looking food. I just hope they taste good. Okay, so my boat fell apart a little bit because I left it sit here I was talking. Make sure you don't put a lot of gravy or sauces in your boat. Or just use your wedges. Like I said, spray them with a little bit of uh, Pam and, uh, and put them in the air fryer. They're going to be like, come, come out like chips. And then again, you don't have to feel guilty because this is a whole grain Pita. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I amaze myself sometimes. Mm. So, eat that. Have my water. And I'm done for the day. It's about six. So I'm, I'm done. I first did something at about one. So I'm within that. Uh, six hours. I really should be within four hours. Usually I eat between 12 and 4, but I was out of the house. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Mm, mm. Mm, so good. So what else will I have in the house tomorrow? If I would... So I'll eat the rest of this. I'm going to eat all of it. I have enough for tomorrow, and then Sunday, I don't have an event to go to, but I don't think they're serving food, it's not a restaurant. Some of the ladies were talking about going to some vegan restaurant, you know me, I don't want to go spend my money and then think about what did they put in that food to make it taste good, because I know what restaurants do, I used to own one, okay? And when I was uh, working at Disney, actually Disney was one, uh, the Ragman Road was one of the nicer restaurants where the chef really followed safety, cleanliness protocol. I was impressed with that. But some of those other little more empire restaurants, I always say, you eat there, you take your life in your hand. You do. My friend went and ate at the restaurant yesterday. She said she got sick. And usually when you get sick from a restaurant food, it's because the food wasn't held at the right temperature. That's usually why you're sick. And bacteria grow. How many times do you see report where they're showing that they have chicken laying out there, rice, you can get, you can get sick from rice. People don't think that, but you can. Mm. Okay guys. I am just so enjoying this. And then one key to losing and maintaining your weight is not to overeat. When you first feel hungry, try to ignore it. You feel it again, get a drink of water. Keep putting it off until you really can't stand it. 
Then you eat. Remember, the message goes from your brain to your stomach. Once you satisfy that craving, that feeling of being hungry, stop. There is no, I don't know, you don't get a prize for cleaning your plate. This is something that was done to us as children. You can leave your food. And that's how you reduce your portion size, right? Mm. I'm going to do my next installment about things I love about Panama, which is not Panamanian food. I can't wait to talk about the food. Mm. Well, there's a lot to say about the food here. Okay? So remember, it's not all peachy and kumbaya. If you're health conscious, you can be challenged in this place. Okay. Oh, one last thing I want to tell you. I heard about this person who tried all kinds of diets and couldn't be successful. And the last thing he tried was he said, okay, I'm going to eat half of anything they put in front of me. And that's how he lost a lot of weight. You, eat. you can train your mind to control your body and you can eventually shrink the size of your stomach. So he started pushing his plate away after eating half of it. It's just like having a stomach, your stomach staple, where you can't really finish a whole plate of food. You don't ingest all the calories, especially if you're not spent, uh, you know, uh, burning them. You're gonna lose weight, right? Okay. Au revoir à la prochaine. Wow.